Hello everyone, Ace here, and we are back with my Let's Play of Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, where we last left off, we had just finished Prison ba Break and Birth of the Rebellion, which means our next mission should be recovering the plans. And this should actually bring us into the, well, original trilogy as far as this, the uh, story goes. So let's get to it, shall we? With the information gathered on Polis Massa, Vader concluded that the stolen plans had been given to Princess Leia Organa of Alderaan. We weren't surprised. For all their talk of being a peaceful planet, Alderaan had been thumbing its nose at the Empire for years. After a brief and pointless battle, we boarded the ship, the Tantive IV, over Tatooine, began looking for the plans, and waited for Lord Vader's arrival. Awesome, so here we go. Let's be a stormtrooper, I guess. Lord Vader has tracked the stolen Imperial plans to Ambassador Organa. Retrieve the plans and bring the Ambassador to Lord Vader. Oh dear, oh dear, grenade. Owie, owie. <laughs> okay, Got him. Ow. Well, that's not going well. Whoops. And I died again. <laughs> well, that's great. Okay. And they keep spawning turrets on us. That's... Okay. Ooh. Wow. Ow. There we go, three more of them down. Ooh, God, no! Okay, we'll try flanking him. That's usually a good strategy. Oh, God, no! Okay. Oh, not more of them! At least the flag is gray, so that's good. Uh Okay. Is that all of them? Yep. Yeah, I'll play as Vader one. Into the tech room. Okay, well, into the tech room we go. So that's another one. We'll need to take out the security mainframes on the bridge before we can gain access to the rest of the ship. It's a good thing Lord Vader has so much health. Because he's slow as molasses, but Yep, there we go. <laughs> there is something about playing as Darth Vader in this. It's always a blast, even though he moves uh, so slow. And it's a good thing that, well, I think friendly fire is off. We need the ship's access codes to gain entry to the escape pod areas. Make your way to the engine room and retrieve them from the security terminal on the second floor. Here we go. Should be easy, so because I am playing as a Jedi. Well, Sith, sorry. But I can use the Force, which should really come in handy. Disable the turbine to clear our way to the terminal. Okay. <laughs> that made it a lot easier. Your strength is nothing compared to the dark side. Take the access code to the tech room terminal. Easy enough. Not 
Wow, I was able to skip outright disabling the turbine and doing that. Or the generator or whatever. There we go. Nice work. Now let's clear those rebels out of the escape pod bays and secure the rest of the ship. Princess Leia must be captured before she can escape. Alright, so I think, let's see here. Where's the escape pod bays? <sighs> well, this... I, I have not played this map in a little bit of a while, you could probably tell. So, I guess I'll just... Fly, I'll guess I'll just uh, zoom over here and maybe it's here or something. Yeah, it looks like this is it. Okay. These are definitely the escape pod bays. Okay, so she's definitely somewhere around here. Oh, here we go. There we go. The day is ours. Well done, gentlemen. Wow, was that really it? It was. <laughs> uh, that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. I normally struggle with this After mission. Vader took custody of Princess Leia, we all figured it was just a matter of time before she coughed up the plan. Many of us had been unwilling witnesses to Vader's powers of persuasion in the past. The thought of a pampered little princess resisting his terrible will was inconceivable. I still like the writing on this. For what it's worth, this is still how to do a... The, a campaign for this type of game at least at least as far as I'm concerned so uh, with that mission done let's jump on to the next mission shall we which I believe is Vader's fist strikes back yep so let's try that now When the Death Star was destroyed, about half of the 501st Legion was still in the hangar getting into their ships. Of those who made it out, another third were caught in the explosion. I fought with some of those men for over 20 years. Afterwards, those of us that survived hooked up with a nearby Imperial fleet making a retaliatory strike on the Rebels' base on Yavin 4. It wasn't the best thought out plan, but we were cut off from our leaders, tired and operating on instinct. If not for our training, we probably would have never gotten past their orbital defenses. All right, so let's get to it. This is gonna be a tough mission, I think. This. All hands man your battle stations. Their heavy transports are trying to go around us. Destroy them before they can jump to hyperspace. TIE bomber it is. Hopefully they don't shoot me out down too quickly. Oh, here we go. That incoming enemy fire seems to have arrived. All right, well, good news is we're not completely wrecked, so I can destroy this first one easily enough. Ooh, that transport's already almost had it too. Send their forces off to wreak havoc in other parts of our galaxy. Destroy them. You. Yep, I've got one of them, or two bags so far. Did that guy really just... He did! <laughs> Way to make it easier for us. Okay, so he's almost dead. And that should be the killing blow, yep. 
Ooh, damage increase. That should make it even easier. Once I get close, here we go. Well, that objective's complete. Their frigates are harassing our fighters. Show them no mercy. Target that bomber and take him down. Yep, that they got a lock on me, which is a pro. Ooh, there we go. Okay, so that Corellian frigate shouldn't be too difficult to shoot down. Whoa! No need to waste more bombs on him, just... there we go. And this one should be getting pretty close. Whoa! Well, they shot me down. Pilots, if they are allowed to make the jump to hyperspace, they'll rip right through us. Clear their fighters out and be quick about it. We haven't any time to spare. Attention, all second stage pilots. All right, all tie interceptor time. Take Ooh. down that bomber. So here we go. We'll just have to shoot down some of their fighters. Easy task, I think. Ah, we have to shoot down ten of them. <laughs> well, they got me fair and square. You know what? Fine. We have plenty of planes left to t or star fighters to take out. There we go. It's another one. Ooh, Y wing. Easy pickings. Anyone who does not know their Star Wars lore, well, or at least. Haven't, haven't played the games. Uh, y Wings are old starfighters that the Rebel Alliance uses as, well, bomber planes later on. They only use them as frontline fighters when back when they didn't have too much else to use, really. And he's down. And he's down. Watch it. On your tail. Wow! <laughs> okay, so he's almost down. And I am making a meat quite a meal of him, but oh, here we go. He's dead too, that's two left. And if I play my cards right, soon to be one left. Take that fighter down. Yep, there he goes. And that A-Wing's gonna get... There we go. Well done, pilots. Did we? We need to clear a path for our frigates to cover you. Use a TIE bomber to destroy their heavy turrets. Okay, we'll kill that guy. Then we'll fly Target back here and, and get ourselves a bomber. Simple enough. We are under attack. This is not a drill. Okay. And we'll, all we have to do is just take out these guns. We should have it, I think. All told, we're doing relatively well, I'd say. Yeah, TIE bombers aren't really particularly well known for fighting other starfighters very well either, but they can f they can at least fend for themselves if absolutely need be. Although, to be fair, so can the Y-Wings. Okay. And let's make a complete 180 here. Doing a good old-fashioned Immelman. What, not what I wanted. Whoa! There we go. Take that bomber down. And he is well, a little low in health. That is not good, ow! But I did take it out. So that's 
two guns down to left. Good. The other good news is now most of their guns that were shooting at me aren't shooting at me anymore. Problem is, now I probably have a whole bunch of new guns, uh, mini turrets and crap shooting at me. So I have to play this a little careful. I say a little because we are doing pretty well again. Okay. I think we're all set. There we go. Get off of those engines, men. They can't jump if they haven't any engines. There. Oh yeah. Now I remember why this mission could be a bit tricky because they kept giving you objectives. This is actually probably going to be a little bit of a longer mission than normal. Uh, this is not the. The last two are where the game, game really shows its teeth. I mean, there's a lot of missions that aren't exactly cakes uh, walk, walk in the parks either, but the last two are the worst offenses of this. There we go. And... Whoa! Okay. Just take this out. And that should be most of their, that should be half of their engines there. Oh, can we shoot this guy down? Yep. Yeah, it might not be the best uh, rate of fire in the world, but it does hit like a sledgehammer. Ow. Yeah, time to Yeah, okay, we'll take this one out too. Whoa! Okay. Wow. Alright, so we'll make a turn around here and first we'll shoot this thing until it dies and then. That engine is no more, so it's just one left. Oh. Victory is ours, men. Dispatch the 501st to the planet's surface. Here we go. Kevin 4 will fall before the day is done. Launch the reinforcement. <sighs> I love how the atmosphere is still moving. But, eh, fair enough. And so the battle over Yevon came to an end. I'm told we destroyed hundreds of rebel ships that day. Even if it had been thousands, it wouldn't have made up for the Death Star. Wow! <laughs> we did not have a lot of help that time, but once again, well, that wasn't actually near as bad as I thought it would be, so yeah. Well, this has been Ace. Hope to see you guys again soon. Take care, ASAP.